Hey guys, Pop Freaking. Today I have for you Pop Failures Episode 2. Stay tuned. But in case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell, um, comment on this video, please, comment positivity, like and share the video, guys, and follow our Instagram, which is pop underscore freak underscore yt, follow our Facebook group, which is pop freak user page, and yeah, that's about it, guys, so enjoy this video, you're gonna like it, there's a lot of crazy pops that went down, <laughs> stay tuned. Alright, guys, so coming in at number one, we have the Ned Stark Headless Bloody. Now, that was at $4,000, but now is worth nine fifty, which is actually pretty sad. Hmm. Hmm. So, if you were able to sell that while you could, you would have made a lot of money. Hmm. I know that, like, they ended the show, um, which was which sucked. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I don't know why they ended the show, because they could have made so much money if they kept that shit going. Like, hmm. I'm just saying, like... Hmm. That's what happens. You guys, they could have made a lot of money if they kept this damn show going, but they decided not to, so all the pops plummeted, plummeted. Just like how that, in 700, how that, like, $950 pop, um, that went up online from Game of Thrones. Mm. Yeah, people are paying in insanely high prices for it, even to know it restocked, and it plummeted down in value. Okay, so the Hulk OG from Marvel Comics, not from the first Avengers film, but he is from thirty-one dollars to thirteen dollars. Hmm. That's pretty sad. Um, I don't know why Hulk's gotta do that, man. Hulk, Hulk smash! Hulk is a good man. Like, why are they doing that to my boy Hulk? <laughs> That's sad. All right, the four pack of the Dapper Don da da um. Stones was a 95 and that was worth $70. That is the one that was exclusive to Disney, um, not Disney Plus, I'm stupid. Um, this to like that, Disney Con or whatever it was, um, D23, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it was exclusive to there, and yeah, it, um, it was worth a lot, but I don't know why it came down. Maybe it was just because Mandalorian, sorry, I had the burp. <laughs> Mandalorian took its place and it's worth like a thousand. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe it went down in value because they saw what's going up with the Mando. They're like, oh, let's just drop it down. Let's make that pop number one. Who really knows? <laughs> we had the Fred Jones from Scooby Doo. That was $55 and it's $21. No clue why that is. I think they're doing that because Captain Cup jumped up in value and he kicked Fred's ass so he had to plummet back down. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying a bunch of dumb shit. Now, the rich, the, um, lich, the lich from Avenger Time, this is a pop I would love to own. It is worth, it was worth $1,000, but now it's worth five ten. So, I am very happy about that. I hopefully can pick it up soon. Soon, meaning by three years, or four, or seven, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, so, the spike, um, that's a cool one from Avenger Time. That was a 35-piece exclusive, I think, so, I would love to, would love to own that. The spike war was at two fifty and is worth one seventy. I don't know why they did make a freaking remake of the spike war pop. That would be such cool. Now they couldn't make that, but hmm. oh well. I mean, I don't know. I'm happy they have the license back. Hmm. It's pretty dope that happened because now the pops are worth a lot of money now. <laughs> but yeah, the Conan as Jon Snow from um. From Game of Thrones was at forty three dollars, and that was worth thirty seven. Another pop at STCC, another pop from Game of Thrones that plummeted. Um, yeah, um, I don't know why that plummeted. I don't. People just maybe don't like Conan. I don't know. I mean, Conan's the man. He's the man. He makes so much funny jokes. He's like a comedy night show. He's pretty awesome. Now the Crunchberry Beast was at forty five dollars, and that was worth thirty seven. That's not that bad. I know that's not that bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah. That'd just be good to get. That'd be good to have. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't be, um, I want to get that one day. So I will probably get that one day. Mm. But, yeah, like, I heard a lot of terrible shit about that pop. Mm -hmm. People were saying the site crashed, the site was glitchy, and that just sold out, and it was going for like outrageous money, but now it's worth like so little, I don't know how. 
yeah, it's just weird. But, um, yeah, if you were lucky enough to get that, um, good for you. You lucked out, but you lost your money. I'm sorry, you could have sold that for, like, 50 75 <laughs> So the ghost face was worth seventy-five dollars, and now it's worth sixty. Not that bad of a drop. Uh, um, I'm just looking at my TV, and one of the po and one of the uh, videos is one is one of the screen kill counts. <laughs> what a coincidence! Um, but yeah, I do want that pop, but I'll wait for it. Probably I'll just buy the knockoff. <laughs> now the crow pop was also worth seventy-five, and is now worth forty-three. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why that happened. I think it's because the glow version, they wanted to make that one number one. They just booted that down. I don't know. The Patrick um, Bateman Chase was at 75, and now it's worth 65. Which, you know, these chases for 2020. Hmm. Are probably going to be worth a lot of money. And you're probably wondering, why would you say a lot of money? Well, I am saying that because. Um, well, because you were only able to get these online when COVID was on and we were stuck in quarantine. And now that the stores are now open, they're getting in restocks of pops, and they're having chases of these pops, the, pl the prices are not going to drop. So that sucks. So if you had that money, you could have sold it for, I would say, like 90 to 100 bucks. But, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. You fucked up. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's just like... It's just... It's just ten bucks down. Like, it's not that bad at all. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, next one. <laughs> Alright, and we have the OG Bart Simpsons Funko Pop. Which was 420 and now is worth 350 I honestly don't know. That should go up in value because the Simpsons Pops. Well... I can see that going back down in value because they're milking the Simpsons pops now, which is pretty cool because I love Simpsons. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. But I'm going to end this video off here, guys. That was my episode of Pop Failures, episode 2. Pops on the Rise will come, um, I'm believing, I'm going to do tomorrow, maybe. Well, I would say Monday morning because of, um, like, I like to also add Serlin Pops, um, Pop on the Rise, he does in the video, so I'm sorry, guys, um, yeah, we won't, there'll be more, I'm just probably going to add five more to it because I do have some in mind that I want to add, so, yeah.